Monday night on Channel 19. Say you never heard that, Traveler? Sitting over here like a vulture on a limb. Right, just wait. You ain't waiting for The shit. local asshole of our area, Bandit. Like a vulture on a limb. Sitting there harassing everybody. Or anybody. Or everybody. Everybody's got their local asshole, I guess. That's why, I, in a lot of ways, when it comes down to other locals around here, I'm like... Uh, Rooster boy, that little old bit of shit ain't gonna do nothing over. Bit of shit ain't gonna do nothing over, Rooster boy. Y'all pissing in the wind over, Rooster boy. 
I'd be like, if, if, any, if, any, if anybody's got any kind of uh, issues about the way I am on the radio, dude, I'm like, dude, just, I'm nowhere near like Bandit over there, dude, so don't even talk. Nowhere near. This motherfucker been doing this shit for 30 years, too. Or longer, actually. Probably, uh, I know, I know. At least, I know, personally, at least 30 years. He's been doing the same shit pretty much for 30 years. And the other thing is, it th this is another thing too that I think is so funny. This motherfucker is so scared. He, he, he talks a lot of shit, but he's so scared he can't even leave his fucking house. And it's not even his house. He was living with his mama until she died, and now he's living in the house that his mama died in. <laughs> it's funny. I mean, he, he don't really leave the house all that much. I mean, he sits on the radio and talks shit all the time, but he doesn't really he doesn't really leave the house because there's a possibility that he he'll sit there and talk shit to the wrong person on the right on the uh, at the on the at the right time on the radio, and that right person or the wrong person, however you want to talk it, uh, take it, uh, will. Uh, catch his ass in a parking lot or something like that in the back or whatever and knock him upside the head with a baseball bat. You know? Because <laughs> he's asking for it. He's actually asking for it. He's, 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 uh, he's, he's instigating, uh, you know, hate and discontent and, and, and all kinds of crap on the, on the radio. So he's actually asking for people to hunt him down. And he's actually had people go to... There was that one time, man, uh, some people got tired of his shit and they went over there with the damn truck and fucking hooked the damn tow chain to his antenna tower and, and, and yanked it at down and drug it over his mama's house roof. Just drug it over the roof. <laughs> That's the same house that he's in now. His mama's house, cause he, he he used to live with his mama until she died. But uh, old old bandit man, I'ma tell you, he's a character. And you know, seriously, you know, there's a lot of people that know exactly where he lives. Uh, you know, it's just a. Uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, there's somebody gonna come out there one day, and they're gonna come out there. 
and they might not come to your property. I mean, they're not. They might not come to his property. They might do that after the fact, because honestly, I can I can really see uh, somebody catching him out in a damn parking lot somewhere. I really do, because honestly, man, there's there's a lot of people out there that he he talks shit to on the radio. Most of them are dump truck drivers and log haulers and and uh, and other locals around here. And uh, and um, you know. There's a few of them that just don't give a shit, and <laughs> I mean, he he showed up at a CB meet one time. People, yeah, I mean, that damn cops had to come because they were going to beat his ass. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, he doesn't leave the house all that often. That's why he talks shit on the radio because uh, you know got nothing else to do. And I mean, actually, man, he's he's quite a few mi uh, few miles away from me. Quite a few miles, anyway. And uh, a lot of the guys that he's talking to, hey, traveler. I don't really hear all that much. That's how you take the wind out of them made a lot of sense <laughs> I was just man I'm gonna tell you that was just that was pure fucking logic right there I told you you're not gonna be talking over here snow nuts now you're gonna get that point you will get that point snow nuts here and learn to take your little ass on that you run your fuck box and you fucked up you're going to learn that. You understand that, bitch? Yeah. You run the mouth. Yeah. Now you're not going to hurt about you. Yo. 
Yep. And we're probably coming back on some cold ass weather here here in about another week. All that global warming. Uh, Fucking climate change. We're going to burn up in 10 years. Get rid of all the cows. They fart too much. And then we had a bunch of rain come in, but it still could have been done, I guess. We got to ban cows. They fart too much. Global warming. We're all going to die.
got out there. Trapper. Shut up, stupid. Hear me call back shit over there. Motherfucker over there to get you at. Hear me call back shit. You got to learn, bitch. You done run that fucking mile. Now you on a learning curve, bitch. <laughs> Fucking stupid, stupid. You're a you're fucking on a fool. damn learning curve, and I mean a learning curve. Yeah, you're fucking stupid. That's the learn I fucking just learned. You're fucking stupid. That's what I just learned. <laughs> 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 fucking stupid moron. <laughs> Well...